Neo, Neo video. Is William Lee the secret creator of Bitcoin? What if I told you that the mysterious creator of Bitcoin, known only as Satoshi Nakamoto, could actually be someone hiding in plain sight? What if it's someone whose life's work perfectly aligns with the vision behind the world's first decentralized cryptocurrency? Consider William Lee, the tech genius behind NEO, a company that not only pioneers in electric vehicles, but recently developed a powerful nanochip. This might sound like a wild theory, yet as we connect the dots, the idea becomes not only plausible, but deeply compelling. William Lee is no ordinary entrepreneur. Born in China, he embarked on an impressive journey in the tech world, armed with a degree in sociology from Peking University and a relentless passion for innovation. Best known as the founder and chairman of NEO, a company at the forefront of the electric vehicle industry, Lee has continually demonstrated his vision for sustainable technology and business acumen. Before NEO, Lee had already established himself as a formidable entrepreneur by founding BitAuto, an automotive marketing platform that quickly became a leader in its field. The success of BitAuto provided him with the resources and freedom to explore even more ambitious ventures. Under Lee's leadership, NEO has not only pioneered electric vehicles, but has also expanded into groundbreaking technologies, including a recent development, a sophisticated nanochip that has caught the global tech community's attention. This blend of technical expertise, futuristic thinking, and his early forays into data-driven platforms not only highlight his ability to innovate, but also make him a compelling potential candidate for the creation of Bitcoin. To understand the connection, let's look at Bitcoin itself. Bitcoin was born in 2008 during the height of the global financial crisis. Its anonymous creator, known only as Satoshi Nakamoto, released a white paper outlining the blueprint for a decentralized digital currency. Unlike traditional systems controlled by banks or governments, Bitcoin would empower individuals, giving them direct control over their finances. Satoshi disappeared from public view in 2010, leaving behind the Bitcoin network as a self-sustaining system. Since then, countless theories have emerged about Satoshi's identity. Some believe it was a team of cryptographers, while others think it was a lone genius. To create something as revolutionary as Bitcoin, you'd need an extensive knowledge of cryptography, programming, and economic systems. At first glance, Lee's background might seem distant from these fields. After all, he studied sociology at Peking University. But here's where it gets interesting. Lee's interest in technology started early. His success with BitAuto demonstrated his ability to combine data systems with user-friendly solutions. As he transitioned to founding NEO, he embraced cutting-edge technologies, from artificial intelligence to advanced battery design. Most recently, his team developed a nanochip that is a game changer in data processing, capable of handling complex calculations with unmatched speed and efficiency. This technical prowess isn't just relevant, it's essential for someone who could design a decentralized system like Bitcoin's blockchain. The timing is another intriguing piece of this puzzle. In late 2008, when the Bitcoin white paper first surfaced, William Lee was navigating a transitional phase in his career. Having already secured financial success with BitAuto, he possessed both the resources and the freedom necessary to pursue passion projects. Could Bitcoin have been one of these endeavors? Moreover, the establishment of NEO in 2014 coincides curiously with a significant moment in Bitcoin's history. By then, the cryptocurrency was well established and its creator, Satoshi Nakamoto, had mysteriously vanished. This overlap prompts a compelling question. Did Lee divert his attention from Bitcoin as it began to flourish, choosing instead to focus on launching his next revolutionary project? As we explore the connections between William Lee and Satoshi Nakamoto, the parallels in their philosophies are striking. Bitcoin's foundation on principles like decentralization and individual empowerment mirrors Lee's vision with NEO, 
where he's not just building electric vehicles, but an entire ecosystem that champions sustainability and independence. This alignment between empowering technology and challenging traditional systems suggests more than mere coincidence. Could the innovator behind Bitcoin's financial revolution also be the brains behind NEO's energy innovations? The overlap in timing and ideology, from Lee's transition post fit auto to his launch of groundbreaking technologies, certainly thickens the plot. A coincidence? I wouldn't say so. It seems too well orchestrated to be mere chance, pointing to the intriguing possibility that William Lee might just be the mastermind behind both ventures, driving forward not one, but two world-changing revolutions. But that's not all. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence in this ongoing puzzle is the already mentioned powerful nanochip developed by NEO. This chip is engineered to manage massive data volumes and perform complex computations at incredible speeds. Primarily intended for AI and automotive applications, its capabilities strikingly resemble those needed to develop and maintain a blockchain system like Bitcoin. Could this be Lee revisiting old ideas? Innovators often recycle and refine their breakthrough technologies for new uses. It's conceivable that the nanochip represents an evolution of the technical concepts Lee might have explored while creating Bitcoin, now ingeniously adapted to revolutionize another industry. Of course, skeptics might argue that Lee's known focus has always been on automotive and green technology, not financial systems. But it's worth noting that Bitcoin's early adopters weren't just finance experts, they were technologists, entrepreneurs, and visionaries who saw the potential for blockchain to disrupt traditional industries. Lee fits this mold perfectly. His track record shows a willingness to tackle big, systemic problems with bold solutions. Bitcoin as a decentralized currency is arguably one of the boldest solutions ever conceived. But if William Lee did create Bitcoin, why wouldn't he take credit for it? The answer lies in understanding Lee's personality and strategic thinking. Known for his humility, Lee rarely seeks the spotlight. His public appearances focus on promoting his vision rather than his personal achievements. Moreover, anonymity offered Satoshi Nakamoto significant advantages. By staying out of the public eye, Satoshi avoided legal and regulatory scrutiny, allowing Bitcoin to grow organically. For someone like Lee, who was already navigating the competitive world of tech and business in China, staying anonymous might have been a necessary choice. When we put all the pieces together, the case for William Lee as the creator of Bitcoin becomes compelling. His technical skills, career timeline, and personal philosophy align almost perfectly with the qualities we'd expect from Bitcoin's creator. So, what do you think? Could William Lee really be the mastermind behind Bitcoin? Or do you think we're missing an even bigger piece of the puzzle? Share your theories and thoughts in the comments.